Hello there and what is up YouTube, it is your boy Mr. Belly Elliot and we are back for another Pokemon card pack opening video. This time I am super, super excited to get into this because it is a Eternatus V Max box. Um, I have had it on pre-order for a while. It was due out for release on the uh, 9th of September, I believe, with the company I pre-ordered it from. Um, and then they sent an email saying it was delayed to the 11th. Um, so it turned up today and I've been sat at work all day and it's been staring at me. And I just really, really, really wanted to open it. But I had to resist because I wanted to film it because I want to see what pulls we get inside. I want to have a look at the box. Um, and now we've finally got around to doing it. But before we get into that, I just want to thank you all for the support. Uh, for the channel so far and also the support on my twitch channel as well, which some of you have come over from um, So thank you very much for that. If you are new here. Hello. My name is Matt I am a variety twitch streamer from the UK. Uh, I do some YouTube videos I do some Pokemon card opening. I do some gaming videos. I do some gaming streaming I do some twitch sings. I do some singing videos. So I am a, a, a variety content creator um, basically, so if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you hit that lovely thumbs up button, punch that red subscribe button, and tick that bell so you're notified when my next video is live on YouTube. Um, but without further ado, let's uh, open the box. Ah! Okay, so let's have a, a closer look at the box in a moment. So there's the uh, Eternatus V card, and then the Eternatus V Max card, and then there's if behind it you can see the Eternatus uh, V Max larger card, and then the Eternatus pin card. So I'm just gonna just gonna open it now. The last time we did a uh, V box like this, it was the uh, Copper Raja V box, um, which was a few videos back. So if you haven't watched that yet. Oh, I just knocked my camera and ruined everything. There we go. But if you haven't seen that one yet, guys, make sure you do uh, go and check that out. Because that was a good video as well. Okay. So there's the box. Let's pop that to the side. Just tilt this down a tiny bit so we can see what's going on a bit more. So there we go here. Hopefully it comes open pretty easy. And it does. Okay. So take the cards out of here. They always make these boxes so awkward to navigate around. Okay. So this is the Eternatus V Max card. This is actually really nice. It feels really smooth. And there's the pack. So that one's really nice. We'll pop that up there. There we go. And then, then this is just the standard Eternatus V card. I dropped again I love that as well so we'll pop those two up let's place them there and then we have the big one just in case the small ones weren't enough we have the big card as well and they haven't really changed much detail this is still as nice so that one will pop up there I think and then we've got the pin I don't seem to be able to get out of the uh, box. Now, this is my first Pokemon tin I've opened that has a pin. This is really exciting. Such a nice pin there as well. I'm gonna prop that. And then we've got five packs of cards inside. And obviously the code card. Um, I do play a lot of the uh, Pokemon card game online, so I never really reveal the codes. 
So, five packs of cards, five booster packs. We have one Darkness Ablaze, one Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, one Steam Siege, another Darkness Ablaze, and a Sword and Shield. Uh, probably going to go ahead and open the Sword of Shield pack first. Like I said, I'm really excited to it. Uh, I'm going to use some scissors, actually. make it a little bit easier it's my code card I believe it's four okay guess the energy uh, psychic no fighting energy okay there we go Aurora energy dub wall Quillfish, Joltik, Silicobra, Blipbug, Goldine, Yamper, Reverse Hollow Intelli on there, and a Mush on a, at the back there. I'm going to go for Darkness Ablaze next. I need to guess the energy. Damn. I'll try again next time. Psychic energy. Cabu. Simisage. Vanillish. Paris. Gothitha. Skarmory. Cubchu. Wimpod. Reverse Hollow Carablast. Followed by. Staraptor. Come on, we gotta have something good. Something good has to come out of one of these packs. A Charizard would be lovely. It'd be very nice, actually, a Charizard. Darkness Ablaze. Four cards. I'm gonna go with Thunder Energy this time. Nah, no, fighting again. Hiding Energy, Fletchinder, Gothorita, Rookie D, Galarian Mr. Mime, Electrike, Dino or Dino, Passamian, Reverse Hollow Ferret, followed by oh, Leopard. Come on. Come on. We've got two packs left. Can we get a really good pull? We're going to go with Steam Siege next. Now, Steam Siege doesn't seem to be a very popular pack, and I don't know why. So if someone could comment as to why it's not popular, let me know. Not sure on the card trick, so I'm going to go three, just to be on the safe side. I was wrong. It wasn't free. But we carry on from here anyway. Gardevoir, Spirit Link. Lampant, Clefki, Larvester, Joltic, Tangular, Ponyard, Oshawott, Reverse Hollow Talonflame, into Jumpluff. It's quite a nice card there. And then the last pack is Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. So let's hop into that. But don't forget, guys, to let me know what you think of the pool so far. Have we been lucky? Have we been unlucky? I don't know. Again, I'm going, I'm going to go with four, just to be on the safe side. Whew. Thunder energy. Fighting again. That's the third fighting energy we've had. Uh, weakness policy. Heat more. Curlier. Inkey, 
Lady Bear, Caterpie, Sandy Gast, Venipede, Reverse Hollow Mowl, into Malamar. Ah, oh, so nothing, nothing massively special in those five packs. A um, little bit disappointing. Um, but for the cards you do get with the actual set, um, you know, it sort of makes up for it. So let me just show you what we picked again. What we pulled. So, so we got Reverse Hollow Marvel, Reverse Hollow Talon Flame. Reverse Hollow Ferret, Reverse Hollow Carablast, Reverse Hollow Inteleon, obviously the Eternus, Eternatus V card, and the Eternatus V Max card, and obviously with the Eternatus V Max larger card there in the background. So I, I, I think, you know, it's a good box um, if you're a fan of Eternatus, which I am. I absolutely loved him in uh, Pokemon Sword when I, when I was playing through it the first time. Um, it's a Pokemon that was in my party quite a lot from the moment I caught it. Um, but yeah, no. So I'm really, really, really excited um, as well for Champion's Path, which comes out very soon as well. I have got one of the Charizard Elite Trainer boxes on pre-order. Um, so you just know there'll be a video when that comes out. But until next time, guys, thank you so much again for watching the video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button as well. And also turn that notification bell on. So you're notified when my next video goes live. Um, but until next time guys. Thank you so much. I've been Mr. Be Belly Elliot. And you have been absolutely fantastic. Farewell.